Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Parque Fernando and we're just going to be doing a little bit of hunting today but there is a specific reason that I am out here. As you can see by the title of the video, we have a 9 legendary water buffalo on the map right now. Not too sure exactly where he came from, I was actually looking for black buck zones for the black buck guide that I did the other day. And then all at once I was attacked by a 9 legendary water buffalo. He came from this zone right here down in the bottom right hand corner of the map and yeah I don't know exactly how I ended up missing him when I was doing my water buffalo guide. I don't know if maybe he's a respawn from something that I shot, one of the buffalo that I did shoot, or if I just completely missed him because it wasn't a new zone that I found. When I went down there I already had that zone so I don't even know but we have a 9 legendary on the map we're going to be taking him down and we're going to be using the longbow. So I've used a longbow on two previous diamonds, a diamond plains bison and a diamond alligator and we've had really good success with it so I figured why not do it again today. Now the water buffalo his estimates aren't the best. He goes up to like 174 and diamond is 167 so i mean there is a good chance he does end up trolling but we're going to go ahead and take him down anyway with the longbow so let's not waste any time we're going to jump right in hunt some animals to begin with and then we'll go over there and get him it's not the most exciting start but it's a level 5 red deer 95 to 141. we're going to go ahead and take him down he's giving us a fantastic shot right there he is currently alerted and he was alarmed there for a little bit before he did go back to being alert so now he is attentive and he's going to go back to drinking. So I think I'm actually going to go for a neck shot here just to drop him on the spot. And that'll be fantastic. There's actually another one over here. He looks pretty small as well. He's going to be a level 4, 66 to 112. And I think I saw another one as well. There he goes. That looks like a level 5, maybe a level 6. And here's our level 5. We did get the vital blood as you can see. So let's go ahead and pick him up. He'll be a silver with a trophy rating of 124. And we got him in the middle neck there. So that was a really good shot on him. Um, distance was 117 meters and he's just a little level 5 silver is 182 so he had a long ways to go to be a silver he's just a really tiny one so we'll accept him here there's actually another herd that just came in with a level 6 in it 141 to 187 that actually might be the same herd and they just went over there to that zone so we're going to go ahead and get him down why not since he's here might as well go ahead and take him so let's take that right there should be a perfect double lung shot and it's going to be he's going to be dropping very fast and he's not going to be a floater so let's go grab him and then here's the level 6, he's going to be a silver as well, trophy rating of 162.78, so at least he is bigger there and closer to gold, but got him in the right lung and the left lung, so pretty good, a little bit far forward, I was hoping to get a heart shot there, and we just were a few inches above it, but I mean it still took him down very quickly, distance was 154 meters, so yeah, just a little decent little silver, nothing crazy about this one as well, so let's go ahead and move on to something else. I just snuck up on a herd of axes here. We have a couple males here. This one is a level 4, 174 to 215. And then right here beside him is a level 2, 85 to 126. So obviously we do want to go for the level 4. I didn't see any other males except them two. It looks to be all females after that. But let's go ahead and get him here. We're pretty close. We're about 60 meters out right now. Actually about 50 meters. The wind is perfect, but I do want to kind of get his attention like that so that he will stand up. So let's get the 243 handgun out. Of course it's going to switch to the... Um, to the um, 22, whatever that gun was. Let's go ahead and take that shot. And I took it off the scope there for whatever reason, but it's gonna be a good shot there. Um, I don't know why my scope was off, but it worked out just fine. So let's run over here and get him. He went down super, super fast. And if we get the level two, that would also be pretty cool. I just not too sure exactly where he's gonna end up going. I would assume he goes that way with them, but who knows. Um, here's our level four though. We'll go ahead and get him. We do have the vital blood over there. Um, obviously since he went down so fast, but we did get the vital blood. Let's go over here and let's check him out. He'll be a gold at 182.54. So just as he started to turn, we got him there in the double lung. So perfect shot at 53 meters away. Really nice one actually. Diamond is um 217. So I mean, he's nowhere close to diamond, but he is a decent one either way. Since we're up here anyway, we do have a level 3 that's coming in, 98 to 139. For his estimates, I don't think he's part of that same herd. We'll actually look at them here in a second. We're going to take that shot there, so that should be into a single lung. But they are just right over here somewhere, if I can actually find them again. There they go, they're going to spook. But there's the level 2 we saw, 85 to 126. So I think, yeah, he was just coming into a different zone or something like that, but he wasn't nervous like they were. So, and then here we have the level 3. This guy is only going to be a silver, 119.75. We got him in the thoracic vertebrae and the left lung there so it was a single lung shot like I thought it was pretty good for a frontal shot but got him at 98 meters and he is nowhere close to being a gold and not really close to silver either he's just kind of right there in the middle between the two but he's a little decent one so let's accept him so we're going to go ahead and try and take down our nine legendary water buffalo right now I'm actually going right around to the back side of his zone because the wind is absolutely terrible and it was like this the other day when I was checking his zone out 
I noticed that the wind was very bad and I was going to have to kind of adjust for that. So we're going to go around the back side here and just see if we can get a good shot like that. Now there is a bunch of reeds right here so it makes things a little bit difficult. I'm hoping that won't play a factor into it but we're going to get over here. We're going to try to get him down so I will let you know when we're there. We are now very close to this herd of water buffalo and our 9 legendary is just right behind this level 6. 114 to 134 he is going attentive so I'm going to sit back down here and just keep crouching because if I stand up they're going to go alert but he is just right behind him so now we just need to figure out how we're going to get in here to take him down. The ultimate goal would be for him to go aggressive that would be fantastic he's going to come after us after that and then we could just take him down within like 5 meters or whatever but this level 6 we're going to let him chill out this one to 125 to 145 still not letting us spot our 9 legendary and this guy's going to come in that is a big level 6 152 to 172 he almost has like the same estimates as our 9 legendary which is pretty crazy for a level 6 i mean he's obviously not going to be a diamond but he is diamond potential at level 6 so can we spot him here can we move it around just enough there he is right there 154 to 173 so yeah literally they are only a couple points off on the bottom end then only one point off on the top end there um, between the level 6 and the 9 that is crazy let's just continue to move forward of course it's going to pull the camera out i do not know why it's so sensitive sometimes it'll just pull it out when you don't want it to and then when you want to pull it out it does not work um yeah they are some of them are alert some of them are attentive i'm just going to continue to move forward i will let you know when we're close enough to take him down or if he goes aggressive or if we need to reset whatever happens i will let you know and that didn't take very long before we started getting attacked here so i really can't stand stay there because he's going to end up killing me we're going to see if we can get our nine by chasing him down i don't know if it's going to work but we'll see if we can i think that level seven came from somewhere else i think yeah he came from behind us over there in that other herd so yeah let's just see what we can do these are still defensive so i mean that's okay I, I mean, we might just chase this guy honestly i don't know if we'll actually get a good broadside shot on him but if we could chase him down, I wouldn't mind as long as we can get a decent shot. And he's actually giving us one right there. I was going to say, do we attempt that? But then he started running, so I don't think we do. I know we took down our Diamond Plains Bison. It was like 50 meters away or so. It was a pretty far shot, at least for me, since I'm not very like comfortable with this bow just yet. I've only been using it on diamonds, like I said here recently. I'm used to use it all the time. If he gives us a broadside shot here, if he turns to the left or the right, I think we might try it. Um, yeah, I don't know. So just a little update here. I did go ahead and reset the time and everything. And now we're trying to approach him from this other side. The wind still isn't the best, but it isn't as bad as it was. And there you can see him right over there. He's like kind of right there sandwiched in between the two. But there he is, 154 to 173. So we're just going to kind of approach this very slowly. I'm going to army crawl. I'm just stay prone the entire time here. I will let you know once again when we have potentially a clear shot or if we get attacked by another one. There was actually a new zone that I just found right here. You can see all the um, footprints here, but let's go ahead and not waste any time. Let's get over here and try to get him down once again. Okay, guys, so they did end up going alert here and then ended up fleeing. And of course, our nine legendary was one of the ones that did flee. These are kind of glitched out for whatever reason. They're defensive there. So yeah, now we're going to see if maybe we can get to his side like we did earlier. I don't know if it's going to work. I doubt it. If not, we will try for a third time here. Just I wasn't too sure if that was going to work anyway because the wind really wasn't where I wanted it to be. That level 7 is going to be aggressive. I'm pretty sure that's the same one that was aggressive just a little bit ago. Now, the main goal here might be to actually try and get the 9 to go aggressive. Not too sure exactly how we would get, go about doing that, but that might be the main goal here moving forward. But I'm going to go ahead and see if maybe I can get a shot on him. And if I can't, we will reset once again. Okay, guys, so we ended up actually going aggressive here. This is the third time I was trying to come in from a different path, just coming directly into their zone instead of coming from one of the sides. And here he is. So we're going to go ahead and potentially try to get him. He's going all over the place. But let's take that, and it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a vital shot. Um, definitely will be good. We could take another one here, but I think we'll just let him drop instead of trying to put two more, or another one into him, I should say. So yeah, that was exactly what I wanted, honestly. I was hoping he would go aggressive. Um, if not, I was just going to try to approach, like I said, directly into their zone instead of coming from one of the sides. So we were coming from right over here. Hold on, I don't want to die. So there he goes. Yeah, I was coming from right over here, directly from this outpost, all the way down into the zone. The wind seemed to be the best in that direction unless I was coming from the left side. But here he is. Now let's see, is he going to be a diamond or do we go through all that trouble for him to be a troll? Honestly, I think he's going to be a troll, but let's pick him up. And yep, he's going to be a troll, 162.52, and we got him in the left lung. So we just barely got into it as well, but it was a vital shot. 
But yeah, I kind of thought he was going to be a troll. After all that, plus his estimates just were super, super small. I said that from the very beginning. Wasn't too sure if he was going to be a diamond. But we will get some screenshots here. Um, yeah, he's a small one too. 167.6454 on his diamond. So 162.52 is his score. Yeah, he was pretty small. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I wanted to take him down with the longbow to wrap things up. And we did just that. Just unfortunate that he isn't a diamond. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.